What is going on everyone, Vertic Designs here and for this Photoshop tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to remove complex backgrounds. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and left click on the lock to unlock this to be a layer. And to remove the background from this image, you want to go over to the adjustments, which is right here. You want to get yourself an adjustment called threshold. So this is going to help us out a lot, especially when it comes to separating the tree and the leaves from the background. And the goal here is to move the slider over to the left or the right, depending on your image. And you want to make the areas that you want to keep as dark as possible. So for us, a decent area is around 144 because as you can see, we have most of this area covered. So now that you've got yourself a nice threshold level, you can then minimize this. And we're going to also click on the top one, which is the threshold. You want to hold shift and then click on your bottom layer. Then you want to go ahead and press control or command and J to get yourself a copy of it. Right click on here and then convert this into a smart object. We're going to use this as a reference. Once you've done that, we can go up to select, go down to color range. And in here, this is going to give us the option to separate the white and the black from each other. And all you have to do is left click on the white area. And this is going to select all of the light areas. Now you also want to make sure you set the fuzziness to 200. And then you want to go ahead and press OK. Once you've got yourself the selection, it will also sometimes select extra bits which you don't want it to select. So for example, as you can see, it has also selected the field. So to fix this, it's really simple. We're going to go to the third tool down, right click in here and get yourself the polygonal lasso tool. Now with this tool, you also want to make sure that you are selecting the second mode, which will allow you to add on and subtract from the selection. Now that you've done that, we're also going to go ahead and hide the reference layer and of course the threshold layer. From here, you want to hold Alt to swap on over to the minus, left click, and then you can let go of Alt and continue on going all the way around this edge. You want to go all the way around, go back to the very first one that you created. And then from here, you want to hold control or command and then left click to connect it all up. And there we go. We have now removed that area. All you have to do is make sure you are selecting your background or your main image, and then go ahead and click on the mask button right at the bottom. From here, it's going to look a little weird at first, but if you press control or command and I, this will invert the selection. And there we go. You have now removed the background from this image right here. And that is pretty much it. That's how you remove a complex background in Photoshop.